Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today I am joined once again by Ash. Say hi, Ash. Hi, Ash. That's all right, real clever. Real <laughs> clever. Uh, Sorry, today that's gross. is a very spooky kind of day, Ash. Is it? Uh, uh, yeah, it's uh it's um classically October 30th, you know. Uh mm, the spookiest the of all the days. Spookier day. Yeah. Of the month of October. True. Uh and because of that spooky occasion. Uh, we are actually doing a special spooky build contest this week on the Minecraft uh, server. So if you'll join me here, we have a lot of cool... We should take the helmets off. Thank you. Um, a lot of cool spooky builds uh, to watch today. So I am very, very excited to see what we're going to look at. Are you? Yeah. What do you What do you think that we're going to see, you know, going into this? Probably a lot of pumpkins. I can already see there's <laughs> something in front of us. Let's start with Zoe, shall we? Where are you? Uh, over in the corner over here. Zoe! Ah! Hello! hello. Hi, How's Zoe. it going? Good, my game just froze. Okay! Uh, <laughs> Good start. That is a great start. Uh, Ash and I are ready and excited to see your build. Am I first? Uh, you are first! You are the first one! I don't want to go first. <laughs> Would you rather <laughs> pick someone else first? No, it's okay. okay. Who All changed right. my sign? I don't know, but I saw that uh, Alex's name was also around your build somewhere. Yeah, I deleted it because okay. he didn't do anything. I see, I see. Oh. Um, but yes. So yeah, why don't you why don't you give us the rundown on what what you built here? This is my build. It's uh it's spooky. Okay. And uh rather fun. You can either walk around, I guess, or you can take a minecart here oh. and go on a journey. <gasps> A journey. Ash does love journeys. I do, I do. I'm excited. Ash, grab a minecart. This. I don't, this is, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> I'm right, so Ash, sorry. You have to learn how to right click. I'm sorry, my uh, my co judge here uh, doesn't know the mouse controls. Um, give me one second. I'll just. Uh, look. All right, right click, left click. <laughs> there you go. I'm sorry. So when we were trying to leave the build area, she punched her way through all the fences because she didn't know how to open them. I just thought I was saying, oh no, no, oh, no, no. Ash, the, how do I get in? Right click. Right click. <laughs> oh, it's okay. I'm going. This has no reflection on you whatsoever. Don't worry. That's okay. You want to go this way. Oh, the other way? This like way? into the house. Yeah. In, oh, into yeah. the house. Okay. Usually you would start on the power, but that's Got you. okay. You can hold W to go forward. All right. Oh. Goodbye, everyone. Oh, we're excited for this, though. <gasps> this is so cool. Oh, my God. Look at... Whoa. Is that a constantly shooting skeleton? <gasps> There's an arm, there's yes. a golden apple, some bro- Oh my god, Zoe, this is incredible. Sorry, this is crazy. There's a lot of mini, like, hints and tricks that you have to look out for. I see, I see. There's this cool chest. Okay, I like it. There's a little boo in there. Oh my god, this is, this is wild. I went too fast. It's okay. We're up on the next floor. Oh, it's a oh, spooky my god, library. You have to get through it. This is so cool. A soul f This is ridiculous. You fit this all in your build space? Yeah, Zoe, this <gasps> is sick. A lava Thank roller that. coaster. Diamond I spent ore. a lot of time on it. Oh my, this oh my is incredible. God. Maybe you're right, you shouldn't have gone yeah, first. Yeah, maybe Zoe shouldn't have gone first. Hi, I Ash. can't read the signs. Hi. <laughs> oh my god, there's a whole bunch. Rip Connor. Oh my. <laughs> I went too fast. Rip Nico's platinum. Oh, that oh, is that's topical. Rough. That's topical. And then you just come out. Oh, you can then hit shift keep to, going. Uh, to jump off. <laughs> Zoe, that was amazing. That was Thank so you. cool. Let's, uh, Ash, let's let's take a little bit of a deeper dive. Okay. Yeah, um, you can walk around. So we did stuff. have some requirements, uh, Zoe. Do you do you know if your build meets those requirements for this week? Oh, it definitely does. Look at my spooky jack-o'-lanterns. You do have some spooky jack-o'-lanterns and a mob head. Uh, actually, a couple of mob heads, if I remember correctly. Yeah. And some cobwebs. Beautiful, beautiful. And I put these beautiful sea pickles on to, you know, give them a <laughs> that nice That is actually an incredible, you I never thought of it for genius. a stem. That's a, that's a great at spooky start, boo. I want to go look at the graveyard. Um, Please do. Rip the screen player's <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god. Fucking got him. Rip Connor's hopes and dreams. Rip Nico's platinum Rocket League career. This is, uh, I, I, I don't think what the other players know is we have this on permanent night right now for a uh, spooky audience. 
Yes, um, that's probably why the phantom people are out and about. Yeah. But that's uh, okay. That's okay. Um, so, Zo, while we're poking around here, what was your inspiration for this build? My inspiration was, um, you know, something. Uh, yeah? <laughs> I've recently watched The Haunted Mansion, so maybe that's where it came Ooh. from. Okay. I know you're a big fan of Scooby-Doo. Uh, I, I do know. love Scooby-Doo. Oh my, there's a lava well out back? So, what? I tried to make it less boring, you know? I did some of your wool catch on fire here. That's okay. Oh, no, it's because um, there was, like, some weird water thing going on, so Connor uh, excavated. I see. I see. <laughs> Courtesy of Connor. Um, the house itself is very well built. Thank um, you. The library upstairs, you have a music player for the spooky ambience. That's sick. Um, we have a, a little decapitated head here. <laughs> oh, my skelly. <laughs> Your little skelly. Yeah, he's hanging. This is amazing. Um, what is this? Is this a piano that you've built? Yes. I oh built the my piano. god, Zoe. You get bonus points with my heart there. That's incredible. She knows you. She does. All the candles. Oh my. I think we can stop the build contest. Yeah, uh, we really don't, don't have to keep going. <laughs> no, everyone there's else. Bread, Nick, there's bread. Look, underneath the, uh, the little staircase, there's a little secret sign over Where here. Where are you? Uh, just down to the next floor. How do I get to the next floor? Oh, Follow you have to crouch. Back. Yeah, you gotta crouch. Crouch. Um, there's a nice little sign that says Harry lives here. Harry? Harry Potter. Oh, yeah. That's, uh, I love the boo inside the chest. Thank you. So this crap? was very clever to, um, uh, make armor stands with mob heads and stuff. Oh, my, my hostages 2.0. <laughs> Your hostages 2.0. Um. Yes. Uh, you even figured out the little target dummy. Oh, which is it... what the skeleton was shooting. Yes. Oh my god. So how did you make it shoot so much? Yeah, how, what was it triggered by? I used these rail <gasps> thingies. The pressure so when plates. You run over. Oh my god. Oh my god. One of the new paintings. Yes, um, for ambiance. For ambiance. This leads out to the graveyard. Uh, wow. Well, I think we can see that you've put an incredible amount of time into this build. Didn't you just do this two days ago? No, I've been working on it consistently oh, for like okay. a while. Okay. Yeah. Like, Jesus. <laughs> she was this taking the whole time to do this. Absolutely incredible. Um, thank you. Well, thank you so much, oh, Zoe. Sorry. Zoe. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, Ash and I are going to deliberate uh, for a little bit, oh, uh, give you the points course. and some bonus points, and then we'll just give you the victory. Yeah, you're going to win. No. Congrats. Uh, Connor's is really good, too. Yeah, and Connor's I giant jack o' lantern is. Uh, I think we're going to do him next, uh, but I'll, I'll put you back in the general chat. Uh, thank you so much, Bye, though. Zoe. This is fantastic. Of course. Bye. Is that Connor? Hey. Hey. Uh, Welcome back, hi. man. How's thank it going? You. It's going good. Um, so we just came from Zoe's build, um, awesome. which was absolutely spooktacular. Yeah. Uh, but uh, she I'd did say she was actually worried about your build, uh, which we can about see is the biggest one so far. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, big doesn't mean great, so. <laughs> we all know it does. It's okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's let's see, Connor. Oh what if what do you got for us? Uh, go ahead um, and, and walk us through your build. So yep. uh, if you come like over this build ish, you can see it's a giant. Yeah, uh, it's a giant jack-o'-lantern. I mean, this it's is... Awesome. How long did this take you to build, man? Um, I don't know, but a long time. I actually, uh... Yeah, I also didn't know how to make pumpkins when I first started, so I had to figure out that and then, like, <laughs> make a giant pumpkin patch. John's pumpkin patch came in handy. I see. It's... In here is a carousel. Um, oh. and this is actually how the build started. It was only a carousel. Oh, Alex is like, in here. <laughs> yeah, did Darth Vader himself. That's right. Um, but yeah, no, it started as a carousel. And then um, I actually built the pumpkin around it because I was like, oh, I want something fun. And I big see. And I think that would so be cool. cool. So um, I added onto it. You got like these little rideable monsters. Yeah, these are um, sick. Oh, yeah, you can sit in them. Yeah. Oh, that's really um, cool. Yeah. And then, actually, if you come down here, oh, uh, it's like is a it downstairs? Way. Yeah, so this is where, like, actually the majority of the... What? Is. There's more? Oh, yeah. I like so, the dead uh, leprechaun. That's fun. Thank you. Yeah. So, uh, and then you can actually go through the uh, spider-like 
thing. Let's just see. Let's go down. Oh my god. Oh, we're surrounded by shulkers. Oh my god. What is this? Yeah. This is spooky. Look at this. Oh, can we go, can go through here? Yeah. Gosh, look at this. Oh my god, what is this place? There's a bunch it's of just like a little uh, haunted, uh, haunted mansion. I see. Um, you know, kind of like imagine that these were actual, uh, you know, you know, boys to fight through. I see. <laughs> it's like a team rocket, you know. Oh, like a, I see, like a battle dungeon. Yeah. Uh, that's clever. I like. Wow, you a staircase of bones. That looks cool. Um, oh yeah, that's actually how we'll get out. So. Oh, I see. We I'm have out, the huh? bonus points right here. Um, that's some of them. Yeah. Very cool. And purple fire, which I didn't even know existed. Yeah, the purple fire is for the uh, end stone that is underneath mm. there. And we have and a nice. Then, uh, um, yeah. So then, if you want to oh, head down the. Uh, that's so the rope. cool. Oh my god. And yeah, that's an enchanted apple. Ah. Enchanted gold. Then sorry. I see. Fancy. Then... Oh no. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think... Yeah, just kind of follow the light. This is crazy. I didn't realize how deep this went. Oh, Ash, you're down here. <gasps> We're now in the Soul Sand Valley. Oh my god. Yeah, lots of monsters. I see. I Where's see. this? What is this? And then these are little titans guarding the. Uh... Oh my god! It's still with us. This is crazy. So, yeah, that's, that's Boo the Ghost Dragon. Boo and, and uh, Toothless. Toothless the End Dragon. This is Ender, incredible. I oh, I see. I didn't even notice. These are people, these giant statues. Yeah. Oh my. Wow. Oh, wow. Dude. Yeah, All right. Then, I, I uh, thought Zoe had a shoe in, but this is ridiculous. Jesus Christ. Yeah, then uh, this is kind of like the. Uh... You made your own Crimson Forest here. Yeah, it's like the little nether crimson forest with uh, TNT boys. Yep, yep. Uh, Alright, well thank you so much, Connor. This was way bigger than I expected. Yeah, and then actually you can look down through the uh, glass. And oh yeah! Of On the it outside. Kind of like a, I, saw, I didn't even realize it was that glass. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think digging, digging this out took the longest. The pumpkin took a while, but... <laughs> yeah, this, this was out. all survival, too. Yeah. Um, yep. All right, well, Ash and I are going to deliberate uh, and start scoring you some points, and I'll throw you back into the general channel. All right. Thanks, Connor. Hello. Oh, it's hidden. Hello. Mr. Parker. Hey, Parker. How goes it? How goes it on mm -hmm. this uh, spooky night of, of jump scares and terrors? It's really exciting, you guys. Um, very. Uh, so far, we've seen Zoe's incredible spooky roller coaster and Connor's incredible spooky carousel. Uh, it's true. I don't know why we've seen a funfair theme so far, but I, I'm, I'm really <laughs> enjoying point. it. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so uh, we're very excited for your spooky uh, hammer throw, or, you know, like a uh, dart popping game uh, that I know you've made. Um, but yeah, yeah, go ahead. Why don't you Why don't you walk Ash and I through what you've made? Yeah, totally. Uh, so first of all, welcome guys <laughs> to uh, Den and, Den and Terry's <laughs> Halloween Escape Room. Oh, okay. Uh, the okay. rules here are simple. Okay. Uh, well, first of all, uh, thank you guys for coming. This is our first escape room. Uh, Den and Terry, Ooh. we... Uh, they lost the rights to their auto smoke factory. <laughs> um, uh, basically, like, OSHA, OSHA complaints and oh, stuff no. like that. So we started up a new OSHA. business. Um, so the... The, the game is more fun if you play in survival, so but okay. it, it's up to you if you are uh, sure, I'll afraid of the dark. Survival. Yeah, well, I am uh, afraid of the dark, but I, I will also be in survival. So the uh, the escape room uh, basically works where I'm going to hand you uh, a book, and then you're going to kind of figure out the clues, and it'll guide you uh, through the little adventure. Oh my god. There are a total, okay. of, four, there are a total of four books you can find. You need three of them uh at, at minimum to to win i see um, our escape room has no time limit but if you uh just get way too bored and you want to be done uh <laughs> we can we can make that work i see uh, um, so here is your uh your first clue oh, thank you and uh a toy pickaxe oh. to help you out and then, oh uh, nice if you need any help, let me know. Otherwise, it is your adventure. Sure. Uh, um, all right, Ash, you ready for a little adventure? Yeah. Okay, our first clue is, once again, I dream of a glow beneath the filthy skin of the world, the green light through the black wood, the pale door, the old man. Nice, nice. On his deathbed, the old man described my dreams exactly. He used names that were familiar. The wood, 
the grave, the hours, the glory. He knew secrets beneath time and the skin of the world. He left me a note, directions through the woods to a long-forgotten graveyard, and a clue. Above the dark ashen head, reveal the secret of the Elder Watchman. All right. Wow. Looking for a head. Uh, aren't we all? Um, I'll cut that. That's fine. <laughs> um, all right. This is... All right, we got some cool green lanterns. We oh, haven't actually seen... Oh, yeah, watch here. out for that creeper. That's that's going to be bad. Um, also, these phantoms are going to give us a run for run for our money. That's okay. Uh, oh, my God. Look at this cool little graveyard. This is sick. Oh, my God. Look at this. Okay, check this out. Oh, there's a head. So we have a zombie head. We have a wither head. We have a creeper head and a skeleton head. Oh, and a dragon head. He's hit all five, so we we'll can mark that off. I um, said his ashen head. So I think wither skeleton probably makes the most sense to me. Okay. Um, and there is actually, look, a block underneath. <gasps> can you see it? Yeah. All right, right click on that. It's a book. All right, you read this one. Well, I'm not good at reading. In your best spooky voice. Let's hear oh, it. Oh, my voice is spooky enough. Okay. Right click? Yep, right click. It has been expressed like this. Each hour has its color, but color only... Oh, <laughs> they already messed up. <laughs> but color exists only where there is light. The short, cracked tombstone furthest from the green light marks the grave which acts this world's entrance to the pale door. This is really well written. Oh, there's another page. Hold on. <laughs> Do not speak past the pale door. For words do not carry meaning in the mansus. Spoken words become the tools of all the foul. <laughs> Fuck. Um, you can see That's what I'm trying word. to say. Yeah, you can skip those. <laughs> Thanks, Marker. And Calagines. Calagines. Spirits summoned I think from I knew them. below to above. The skin of. Wow. The okay. All right. Short cracked grave furthest from the light ash. Where do you think that takes us? Uh, that could be. Uh, let's take a look. Let's this take a one? look. No. Uh, it's got to be furthest from the green light. Remember that. Are oh. they all cracked? Am I losing it? <laughs> there are a lot of them that are cracked, but you got to find a barrel or something similar around the mash so we can. Uh, okay. We can assume the shortest one furthest away from the oh, green Jesus. light. Uh, but this one's not cracked, though. Is it not? This is cracked, isn't it? I bet he said not the tombstone part, no. the actual grave yeah, the part. Tombstone All right, part. you know what, Ash? Right. You're right. It was not that I'm one, not Ash. Right. All right, you're you know what? Wrong. That's fine. That's why we're here, and we're gonna find the actual. Wait, is correct it this one? one? Look at this one. These have two different ones. Yeah, but that one's closer to the green light. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> this is so clever. Okay, so we have a green light here. We have a green light over there. So that close. It's got to be right short. This is a tall tombstone. Ow. This is a short tombstone. But that's too close. Is it though, Ash? Is it? Yes, it is. <laughs> I think you were onto something over here, Ash. I thought I was. Oh, I picked something up. You picked one of the slabs up. But you gotta put it back. You, you gotta I, judge this I, after. I, okay, nicely done. Oh, you know what, phantoms? Can't you just oh, kill all of them? Oh, it is this one. <gasps> Ash, we found it. This was the shortest one. It's, <gasps> it's putting Taco Bell Cannon. Oh my god. Should we go down? Yeah, let's go down. But we can't speak oh, no. because the the phalanges are gonna eat us. Hmm. What's this? Oh, it's spooky music. Oh, <gasps> Ash, look. Do we have to go to the net? There's a spooky portal. I think we just go to the other side of the portal. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well. Oh, it's super spooky down here with the music too. There's a. the book? He's holding it. Oh, oh fuck! That's so cool. <laughs> that's very. Did you just punch me into the fire? I didn't touch you. Uh. I swear to God, Ash, if we I die in this escape room. Oh, it's so spooky down here. As above, so below. Reason and passion contend in the human soul as the glory lights the darkness of the wood and the grave. The skin of the world fades along with the skin of flesh. Burnt by any hour other than blue, it ceases to exist, it ceases to hold, it ceases. Burnt by the blue hour, it transcends. The hours await you in glory, the blue hour, the green. What? That is spooktastic. Oh my god. Did we do it? Not yet. Oh. You did? Yeah. We did. Huh? We did it. You did. <gasps> oh my god. That was that was incredible. That was really Thank cool, you. Parker. Uh what is this on the walls here? Uh they so it's it's 
supposed to look like uh, bones. It does. Yeah. Uh, honeycomb block. Oh, uh, my, you used your honeycomb. Bone. That's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's Parker. It's uh, a bone comb. Oh. Bone comb. Oh yeah, hold on. Let me let me stop being invisible. No, it's okay. <laughs> this is so different than the other ones so far. This is so interactive, and the other ones were already so close. Oh my god. Okay. This sucks. Oh my. This is. I think this is going to be the closest build contest yet. Um, it might honestly come down to the bonus points. Um, well, uh, Den and Terry, thank you for uh, doing this. You can go online to our website and oh. uh, leave a review. Sweet. Uh, Is that uh, denandterrys.com? Uh, probably. <laughs> You'll figure it out eventually. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Uh, well, thank you so much. Uh, we're going to deliberate, and I'll throw you back uh, with the rest of the peeps. Um, that was really awesome. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you guys a lot. Hey, streamer. Oh, hello. Are you live on the internet? I am live. Currently. You're now live on the internet. How's it going? Uh, it's going good. How are you? Uh, it's now a lot uh, more tumultuous than before because <gasps> after the three last builds we've seen, we are absolutely blown away. Um, well, get ready to put your pants back on because mine's very <laughs> underwhelming. Okay. <laughs> All right, Nico. Uh, why don't you let us know what you got? Sure. I, I built... Uh, I, nobody else really put so much lore into theirs. Okay. If you remember from the first build contest, I had a campsite. Yeah. And uh, the same campsite has been raided uh, <laughs> by pillagers. Oh, this no. This is a raided campsite. Um, you know, there's some zombified people with pumpkin heads. There's cobwebs everywhere. Yeah. There's a skeleton horse they rode in on. Oh, my lots God. Lots of dead people. Lots of bones. It's Things have been blown up. It's been so ruined. Much. And they've claimed the banners as, you know, their territory. Their ter they, they even destroy the outhouse, the monsters. Yeah, it's... Uh, you know, it's quite uh, quite the the scene. I actually, I had to uh, I had to get therapy after I first saw this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest, Nico. Uh, no other build has had such a deep lore yet. No. Um, <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> although uh, Parker's journey into Latin was also, you know, very out there. Um, I've heard. You did a little challenge bit of it me intellectually, and I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> um, well, this I have a is... second. Oh, I have yeah. a second build that oh. instantly doesn't qualify because it doesn't have cob or pumpkin. Yep, yep. But I've taken the dispenser off of this guy's head and named him Octopus. I and see. he's a little octopus. Oh, he's a spooky octopus. Yeah, he is. A spooktopus. Six, 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 six. Um, wow. Okay. Uh, well, Ash and I are going to do some deliberation, unless you got anything else for us. I do not. All right. Uh, fantastic. You know, I appreciate the spooky raid. Um, I'm sorry if anyone, you know, died in the process. We'll get the cleanup crew in here after that. I want, I want, uh, uh, condolences. Yeah, we'll I get... Want, uh, in yeah, money, yeah. in money form. Uh, wor workers' comp, I think, is, uh, yeah, that's yeah. what you're looking for. <laughs> yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll set you up with some of that. Um, hey, that's sick. All right, thank you. Thanks, Nico. If you want to, uh, pop out, thank you. Yeah. Uh, you want to do Magoos? He's also not here right now. Sure. Oh, I see. So this one is... So I don't know if you've noticed, but uh, Alex's name has been on everything so far. So I think he actually has all of the builds. All right, so this is Magoo's. Uh, Magoo's Crypt, you can see that he's been working can I on. All this stuff in no, it? I don't think we can do that. He's got a spooky little skeleton. Mm -hmm. So first thing I noticed, he has an ancient uh, ghost dragon up here, which is very, very cool looking. Uh, shall we head into the crypt? Yeah. Let's see what there is to see. Hold on, I'm going to get a candle. Um, and by candle, I mean torch. <laughs> Whoa, spooky crypts. We have a couple skulls. Um, One, two. Whoa, whoa! Ash, Did I lost you. To fall down this with you? I, I don't know. I don't think so. It looks like a trap to me. Uh, there is a way. There's a couple. Oh, is it a maze? No, it's a dead end there. It's a dead end there. Looks like there's a, maze a, over here too, a way back yeah. up. Okay, I don't want to get lost in here. All right, this is cool. You're in a little oh, tunnel. Am I in the outer workings right now? I see, yeah. It looks like it's a bit unfinished, uh, unfortunately. That's okay. Looks like he had some big plans around here, but he did not uh, did not have time to finish. Um, still a very cool build. Um, all right, John's pumpkin patch, what do you think? A hundred. It's got cobwebs. It's got pumpkins. It's got no mob heads. So over here, we have Emperor's House of Spooky Terror. You ready for this? Okay. Uh, why don't you go first? 
Let's see what we got. We got these lights. And... Nope! Oh. Yep, that's another trap. We got another trap down up? here. No. Should I go down? There's a staircase back up. You can... Oh, I have to go. <laughs> okay. Is this whole thing gonna be a trap house? Oh, jeez. Oh! Oh, wow, that's, uh, that's hard to get through. Uh, as I suppose is the... <laughs> is the point. Alright, we're gonna get past the trap doors for now. Um... Oh. On the other side, we have... Uh, a rounded hall. Nice. Oh, we got some doors up here. <laughs> uh, this was the closest build challenge we have had to date. Big yikes. Um, which has been absolutely ridiculous. Uh, first off, I would like to say, uh, that Alex did win the whole thing. Um, because he had a total of 160 points, uh, throughout all of the builds. <laughs> Um, Congrats, Alex! It was That's insane funny. that he managed oh, to build That's what the joke was. seven oh, different built builds. Every build. Well yeah, I, I helped him, by the way. Oh, you did? Oh, <laughs> Ethan! Yeah. Okay, so then Ethan and Alex win uh, the overall, um, which was Eternally. great. Eternally. Unfortunately, because Alex and Ethan put their name on Magoo's build and Magoo didn't have a pumpkin, they have to be disqualified. <laughs> oh. Um, oh, that is rather unfortunate. Uh, as for the rest of the scores, um, in no particular order, uh, we have John's pumpkin patch. Um, uh, he scored a four in spooky theme, a five in originality, a four in aesthetics, and a three in technical skill. He had no mob heads, but he did have pumpkins and cobwebs, so he technically did more than Magoo. <laughs> yeah, pumpkins, that's for sure. Yay! Um, John finished with a 16 overall. Um, like that's pretty good. Like John to win. Well done, John. Uh, yeah, Ash Make did did vote uh, John to win the entire thing. As soon does as he get extra match. points because his birthday's Halloween? Uh, he does. He'll get the extra points tomorrow, though. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's tough. Uh, next up, we have Connor. Um, so Connor, your spooktacular jack o' lantern uh, scored a ten in theme. Oh, for all. Uh, perfect, nice. Perfect <laughs> ten. Uh, for originality, we also thought a spooky carousel inside of a pumpkin that led into the depths of hell. Pretty original. Um, <laughs> so we gave you a 9 for that one. Aesthetics was also a total 9. Uh, we absolutely loved the theme that you went with um, and all of the blocks that you put together. We thought it looked fantastic. Uh, and then finally, your technical skill we put at a 7. Um, there weren't as many moving parts as some of the other builds, but you did acknowledge that. Um, and what you did make with the bone staircase and all of the block placement and pumpkins you had to harvest, very well done. Wait, are we sure there's there there's a pumpkin in this? Uh, you know what, Ethan? <laughs> they could all be pumpkin slices or jack-o'-lanterns. Good point. <laughs> Good point. Yeah. We're gonna uh, have to double check. Uh, your total points though, Connor, um, ended up at a 40. Uh, five with bonus five points. bonus points because of all the heads that you had. Nice. Next up, uh, Magoo, uh, if you did qualify, um... <laughs> I'll get some spooky ghost points for my spooky theoretical build. Yes, uh, the scariest thing are the things that don't exist, right? Ooh. Um, so, <laughs> oh, yeah, no. you had a seven in your theme, uh, for okay. the spooktacular crypt idea, uh, and your traps. Mm -hmm. Uh, six for originality. Uh, we liked uh, being flung into a trap with the bone dragon on top and everything. We thought it was Big a fan. nice take on spooky. Yeah. Um, five uh, for aesthetics, which, you know, I mean, it wasn't finished. There were a lot of holes. Um, what you did no. have looked pretty good, though. And then, of course, uh, the piston fall trap you did have scored you a six for your technical skill, um, which was very well done. Uh, but that would have totaled you with a 28. Unfortunately, you end with a zero, my friend. Next up, uh, we have... Uh, yeah, let's do Alex. Okay. So besides Alex uh, 160, he did actually submit a personal build, um, which he got a seven for the theme of another kind of spooky jump scare uh, house, a six for originality. Um, once again, we liked falling into another pit that we actually couldn't get out of this time. Yeah, that was a hard one. Um, a four for aesthetics, as it was pretty cuboid. <laughs> it was, it was uh, very square. <clears throat> uh, 
And then finally, a 5 for his technical skill um, of the Iron Trap Doors. Uh, we also very much laughed at the Year Mom and Dad pumpkin heads. Uh, we appreciated <laughs> that. Fortunately, zero points, uh, zero bonus points, um, which ended his personal build with a 22, but we all know he won with 160 points with Ethan uh, if they weren't disqualified. But, but the DQ. Right, right, but the DQ. Um, next up, Nico. Uh, so Nico had an eight for his theme. Um, so Nico, we loved your uh, repurposed build. Um, Ash actually thought it was an absolutely fantastic idea I did, uh, I did. to continue the lore. Um, I hope you're keeping track of this, though. You know, we're now going to need, like, a full extensive universe of Nico's campsite. I'm only using this one build site for the rest of my builds. <laughs> <laughs> um, you scored an 8 for the spooktacular theme. Um, we thought it was indeed very spooky with the dead in the haunted forest. Um, a 9 for... So the originality category was a little weird. Uh, because it was a repurposed build, but you managed to spin it in such a way that it made so much sense. Um, so we gave you a 9 for originality. Um, yep. Uh, your aesthetics uh, was a six. Um, it wasn't as cohesive as your very first build. Um, we still thought it looked very good and very spooky, though. And finally, the technical skill is unfortunately where the build suffered uh, with a four, um, as we noticed the the uh, TNT-like craters. Um, and uh, it was just your build. Um, yeah, no, I did use TNT, so that was very astute of you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but you did get the two bonus points uh, for the skulls that you had, which totaled you at a uh, very solid score uh, of 29. Hey. hey. Um, and now we have Parker. So, Parker, your build was uh, exceptionally fun, not only to look at, but also to play through, yeah. which was very unexpected of Ash and I Thank you. Um, to actually play through a mini-adventure. We had actually said uh, if you could make some adventure maps from now on for us to play. That would be great. Um, that would what? be fantastic. So the theme, Parker, uh, we said was a perfect 10 for you. Um, we thought it completely embodied the spooky genre. Uh, we loved the graveyard aesthetic. Uh, we loved the crypt. Uh, the actual writing and everything was very, very uh, Lovecraft. I thought it was great. Um, right, Nash? Yeah, I loved it. Yeah. Uh, so, Parker, for your originality, we gave it a 9 as well. Uh, we thought the actual escape room was incredibly original. Uh, Graveyard, obviously, not as original, yeah. but, you know, it's, it's very spooky. Um, but you got all those points for the fact that it was an interactable escape room, which was crazy. Cool. Yeah. Um, a 9 in aesthetics. It looked fantastic. Uh, we absolutely loved everything, including the bone honeycomb in the bottom. We thought tied it that all together really very cool. nicely. Thank you. Um, including the portal room behind it. And then finally, Parker, you had an 8 in technical skill. Although it wasn't technically with redstone, the fact that you set up a quest, uh, wrote all of the books to match each other, came up with clues, and set up some ambient music gave you an 8 in technical skill. We were very, very impressed. Um, we, we finished it, and Ash was like, that should be its own video, Nick. Just, just yeah. <laughs> going through, through Parker's little adventure map. Awesome. Thank um, you so much. Of course, plus your five bonus points totals you at a 41. Uh, which is currently <gasps> one more point than Connor. Oh my god, uh, my game froze. Uh, which brings us to Zoe, the final person on the docket. Uh, Zoe, for this, you, this will be a posthumous. <laughs> we thought that you had a perfect 10 for the theme. Yeah, um, thank you. Once again, uh, we thought similar to Connor's and Parker's, it embodied Spook fantastically. Uh, the haunted house aesthetic was amazing. Um, the roller coaster. The roller coaster. I really was... hope everyone went in and wrote it. <laughs> it was so much fun. Thank um, you. The originality, uh, we also gave a 9. We thought all of the build and actually the roller coaster itself was incredibly original. Haunted House, slightly less so. The um, underground. But once again, I mean, the underground part oh. was crazy. Ash was in love as I soon know. as she fell underground. Swoon. Um, but we thought the whole roller coaster part was very original. And plus, I had to give her bonus points because I kind of broke her build. Well, that's you did. You did shatter her trap door. That's true. Um... For aesthetics, Zoe, you got the only perfect 10 of the night um, for aesthetics. Oh. So congratulations. Everything oh my gosh. riding through that oh. haunted mansion, there wasn't a bit of it that I didn't think should be a professional build. Like, this this is done so aesthetically well. 
Uh, like this should be displayed. It's, it's I incredible. did get some direction and help from Connor. That's you, that's fantastic. Um, all right, so Connor, you can uh, you you get plus ten bonus points for helping. Oh, Zoe. there it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, she did she and did finally, that. Zoe, with a nine on technical skill, um, with setting up the entire roller coaster and the arrow that firing really from cool. the skeleton into the so dummy sick. at intervals, was one of the coolest things we've seen in the build contest so far. Thank you. That took me like twelve million years to set up. <laughs> um, and with oh, there goes Aww. the server. Um, so, finishing where we left off, Zoe, with your three bonus points, you ended with a score. It was so incredibly close of 41. <laughs> Meaning, for the first time, we actually have a tie. Big tie. Um, which was incredible uh not something we expected until no, we actually no. calculated the points at the end <laughs> <laughs> and it was actually set up to be a tie uh which ash and i did talk about as we tallied up the points but because of the prize this week we figured uh parker and zoe both of you can count this as a win under your belts um Congrats, which guys. means both Thank of you, you get the prize for this week which um, is which is the immortal skeleton death's horse uh with a fire particle trail all right, so that just about wraps up the build contest for this week. Ash, what did you think? I had a great time. This uh, was beautiful. I I, I so feel well. um, sad. That I am not as creative as my yeah, wonderful after, friends. <laughs> after looking through all these wonderful builds, it just it, it gives me a feeling of, of That's despair. Why I wanted John to win so bad. That's what <laughs> for I the simple done. pumpkin patch. <laughs> Um, well, thank you all so much for watching, as per usual. Yes, thank you so much. Don't forget to tune in to our Vanilla Plus series and our other build contests in the future. So, yeah. and don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Go down, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, all those things, even the bell, if you feel so inclined. Uh, and until next time, have a happy Halloween. Ha ha ha.